Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new show called Debunked. The show where I find rumours, leaks about all different stuff and try it and verify if they're legit or not. Today we'll be trying to verify if the Switch 5.0.0 update leak is actually real or not and I have very strong evidence to say that it isn't. So let's get into things. Firstly they show off this new sorting system which I can kind of see the legitimacy of but I don't see the legitimacy of just because of the way that they're organised. Now at the moment Switch does automatically sort by last played but I have a feeling that alphabetically would have been a better like top option. Also the folders, um, there's a virtual console folder we cannot actually see so kind, kind of like teasing there. Now take a look at the online lounge button, it doesn't really fit in with the friend list up the top, it sort of like overlaps a little bit. And I'm surprised no one actually spotted that. Now this create rooms bit seems legit, but I did notice and something. that's the fact Moving that it on, says uh, game mode none, friends with one player. player. Now I don't you know, know much I guess about that arms, kind of work. I'm and pretty sure if you wanted to be in a room with someone, you had it set to like two now, player I'm say or what player. happened to all the I'm rest of them. I'm not too sure because to I actually player. don't own arms, but um, but you can see that he mute. He unplugs the microphone and it does appear at the top, not connected to the microphone. Um, voice sharing now. Not a lot of people saw that. This is where the leak starts to lose a bit of credibility because I don't think Nintendo would allow you to record your voice in video captures. It just wouldn't make any sense considering that they're all about privacy. I don't know, maybe they might have a change, but so far the PS4 and the Xbox One cannot record voice while capturing game clips. And as you can see, you can open up the uh, home, the quick menu just to get the uh, party chat as well. Now this internet icon here really does look similar to the 3DS one that's found on the bottom screen. And I don't know, I don't think it would just be blue because of the album that is kind of blue so that kind of loses credibility there now as he goes into the settings it kind of reveals one of the uh, bigger secrets which a lot of people pointed out and that's the data management screen now early in the video um, he showed off Mario Kart 8 Deluxe being installed onto the memory and if you look at all the system memory micro SD card and cloud storage you'll see that it doesn't actually match up and a lot of people found this on reddit so this is not kind of my discovery, it's just something that I noticed. Also, in the Users tab, there's no option to transfer your user over to another Nintendo Switch, as shown here. And even though you have one user, it is still possible. It will just create like a fake user until you link a Nintendo account. However, I do have multiple users on my Switch, so I don't know if the option is uh, not there or just uh, disappeared because there's only one user uh, compared to my, how many users I have on my Switch. Uh, so take this one with a little grain of salt. Also, look at my amazing Tom Nook profile picture. When's Animal Crossing come taking to Switch? Ah! Anyway, the last thing that he shows off is the little theme shop. And I don't know. I just don't think the theme looks that great, if I'm honest. It doesn't have that Nintendo polish, if you know what I mean. Uh, and that's the whole video. Um, in conclusion, I think that it's a bit fake. It could be real. Um, but I'm leaning on the side of fake, just because Nintendo were really pushing the uh, chat on smartphones. Uh, they were really sort of like doing that. Uh, they were also trying to, you know, um, uh, not have an internet browser, just because they announced that they won't have it because they might get hacked. There might be another browser exploit like the Wii U. So I don't know. Uh, only time will tell on supposedly the 11th of January. But thank you guys for watching and goodbye.